drink to remember, I smoke to forget. Some things to be proud of, some stuff to regret. Gone down some Most of the time, um, I'm pretty chilled out and I'm excited about it. Some nights I might be a little apprehensive, um, but um, not so often. Well, I always have a little bit of nerves, but I think it's, it's good to have a little bit of nerves. Ever have men skin off a fat one, hide from the feds, but something Not really, no. Just kind of, you know, give each other a look and uh, hope it goes all right. Um, yeah, we have a set list. Um, it's important too for, um, certainly for the, um, the person who's doing the sound sake or who is doing my monitors or my guitar tech, so I have to be considerate to them. And so, I, but if I feel like playing a couple more songs, then yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy to do that. I want them to feel like they're, they're part of the show because at the end of the day, they're the people who have paid good money to come and see you play. So I want to make sure that they all enjoy their evening. And um, well, it's 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 all about them, isn't it? You know, I'm just the person singing the songs. They they're the ones that are that um. You know, I've got to impress them. Well, I saw the Stone Roses in a 500 capacity venue. That was um, that was pretty memorable. It was a very good show. I haven't had um, a particular best show. Um, I really liked playing Tea in the Park in Scotland. That was a really that felt like a real uh, milestone in, a, in my career because it's the first time I turned up somewhere and there's 3,000 people in a tent chanting your name and singing your songs. It's, uh, it's quite an inspiring, inspiring moment. It, the, crowd, the crowds are actually tougher at home. And they're a bit more, they're a bit more mental, and over here they're, they're a lot more respectful. I mean, the French audience is, can be quite hard to please, but. Once they've been pleased, they're behind you all the way, which is nice.